It's time now to add a new LAN to the uh, remote campus, and the LAN will be IBV6 LAN. IBV6 NAN, you need to configure many things with IBV6, but most important thing that are the devices you choose must be what's supporting IBV6. If you are using old iOS versions, they might not support. Some devices can be turned on with one uh, command. Other devices need some kind of uh, configuration. Right. Here we have BCs. Here we will call it test or uh, Okay, IBV6 LAN. The name is straightforward. Is this good? I will connect it, let us see, to which port here. I will just use gigabit to, is it gigabit 001? Is that fine? Tamam. Okay. So, 001, right? So, this is connected to gigabit 001. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Now, I will use few PCs here. We will only show you how to apply the version 6, but maybe some devices need to be what? Configured. Let us see this one. Just connect to the switch. For devices, it's easy. Host, nothing is needed. Let's start with the router. Which port I need to configure? Okay. Which port? 001, right? However, before you configure a port, you need to ask the router to activate what? To activate IBV6. So let's see this. Enable ConfT. IBV6. And by the way, before I continue, many commands that you learned using IP can be applied for IBV6, but just change the starting command. Instead of IB, make it what? IBV6. Does that make sense? Okay, IBV6 unicast routing. Now, if you can work with this, then you can support what? IBV6. Tamam? So for the router, it has no problem. Taib. We have a simple LAN here. here. Here our address. This is our address. And we only need, let us say, we need, uh, we need for, uh, 60 BCs or 50 BCs in this LAN. 50 BCs, like how many bits are good for 50 BCs? Minimum six. So how many host bits you need? Now you think 128. You don't think of 32, right? So let's say 122, right? Let's make it 120, the subnet mask. So 120, we will make it. And we will start. This is our address now. So I'll just copy paste this one. I will give an address to the what? To the router. Which port? Interface GI. Which one we said? Uh, zero, zero, 001, right? Zero. Zero, zero, 001. Does that make sense? How to give it an address now? IB what? IBV6. That's it. What? Address. And now. It's a very common. I'm not the only one in the planet huh, who copies and pastes IBV6. Everyone I know. Huh? Uh, okay. This will be one. What did we say? The subnet mask that we're going to use is what? Okay. You know when you have colon, colon, all of them between them are what? Zero. So there are just a space we forgot to add between the IBV6 and address. And now it should work. If you want to make sure... Okay, you would not see these things here. Okay, tamam, here. You don't see it, but now at least I can show you that your router, we forgot, oh, we forgot one important thing to give to the router. What was that? Okay, see here, we forgot to do what? No shot. So now what do I need to do? I need to go to what? Gigabit Ethernet, which one? Zero, zero, 001 and then give it what and no shot only tamam already the ip address is given but i just need to give what no shot does that make sense now i i gave it 120 we said we're going to use 60 bcs tamam it depends on how big is your network so now for the switch now for the switch this is 2960 you can use it in your projects okay if you want to apply IBV6, tamam? 
However, it needs some kind of refresh and yani, configuration. Let's see now. If you try to use it without, for example, Conf-T interface VLAN 1, see now, IP, see the command. Uh, IB, IB question mark. Do you see IBV6 command? So you can, if you type IBV6, they tell you what? Can you use it for, inter okay, whatever address you have, can you use it? How, for example, here, I will use it to one, sorry, here. I will give it the next address, for example, 2120. Tamam. Did it accept it? So we need to find a way to what? To configure our switch to what? Okay. To configure our switch to do, you will find this, doc yani it's not something that you are expected to know. Does that, tamam? Okay. See this command. Let's see this command. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let me just remember the command quickly. SDM. SDM. You see question mark. What do you have here after SDM? Prefer. But halas. SDM prefer. Question mark. Dual. What dual? Tunay, right? Dual what? Uh huh. A dual IB4 and IBV6. And one thing is remaining here, default. So now, your switch can support what? IPv6. I can tell you from various experiences, some students spend two days trying to reach this. Okay. So now, best thing to do at this step is what? Copy what? Copy what? Run. And what? Reload to make sure this device is, so is refreshed. Tamam. Okay. So you can look at the operating system version. And now we will try to see. Enable conf T. We'll try to assign a I conf T interface VLAN 1. Tamam. Is this what you're looking for? Okay. IB question mark. Do you see what now? IBV6. Alas, if you see it, then it's a question of applying the address. So IBV6 what? IBV6 what? Address. And let me just paste the address we did from there. Let uh, we give what? Uh, we give one to the. Okay, let's give this one too to the switch 120. And what I need also to give. No shot. Does that make sense now? So now your router has. Look at the router now. If you don't see this, you can go to show IP interface brief, which is the best command that you always need. Okay, show IP interface brief. Does that make sense? Okay, do you see somewhere you have what? IBV6? Is it written here, IBV4, huh? Tayyib, why, why, why you don't see it? Show IB works for which IB? IB version what? Four, huh? Show question mark. Uh, tell me, what do you see? Uh-huh. Tamam. Does that make sense? Did you get this now? Okay, good. Excellent. So now I can say show IBV6 interface brief. Does that make sense now? You see which one is configured? I001. Does that make sense? Excellent. For devices, you just can give them manually. And devices inside the LAN, they use the link local address. Tamam? Okay, if you go to desktop here, they will, this is auto-generated. Now for the address, see what I'm going to give them. This is going to be, for example, what did we give? One and two. This can be three and what? 120. That's it. Okay. And what's uh, what's, what's wrong? Okay, so this is going to be what now? Here, three, and that, tamam, and this one will be four, and that's it now. It is not a question of applying IBP6 because it's simple, but some devices need uh, some kind of configuration and enabling the IB. Now, all of them, all the devices in this LAN, 
can communicate with each other using what? IPv6. To make a long story short, I can go to this one and ping what? The default gateway. Does that make sense? What is the default gateway? Is it one? Okay. If it works, does that make sense? So at least locally, they can communicate. Assigning DHCP, IPv6, and uh, routing IPv6 is not part of this lab. Does that make sense? So now, we enabled the router IPv6. I used which router? The first one, which is what? 4331. And I could add what? All types of ports to it. I used 2960 switch. However, some commands were needed, and you saw those commands. I just reloaded after saving and then assigned the IP addresses to the devices manually. I tested the ping between hosts, and it all worked fine. 